Yes. Flight will be mine. Let's take a look at brains in a little more detail. This is a graph. The thickness of a person's neck versus the thickness of the books they've read. <laughs> You'll see that as the neck gets thicker, the thickness of the books decreases. <laughs> Until a crucial point where they start wondering, why the hell is my neck so abnormally thick? I need to read up on this. These would be medical texts about neck thickness. <laughs> Next. That's an improper fraction. And that is a really improper fraction. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually very interesting. This is a GPA versus limbs. All right, let's look at the values. 4.0. For GPA, that's great. For limbs, good, good. <laughs> 3.5, good GPA, bad. 3.0, pretty good GPA, bad. 2.0, average GPA, bad. 1.0, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's bad. Let's talk about memory. OK, we all know that memory is associated with certain senses. So if you hear something, you might remember it pretty well. If you see something, even better. Smell, as you may have heard, is really strong for triggering a memory. But what's even stronger is, is if something's inserted into your body. <laughs> That's strong. <laughs> Where are my keys? Oh, yeah, I got them. I got them. I got my keys, but I need a Band-Aid, actually. Yeah, yeah. Between Michelangelo and Donatello, there was Demichi. For thousands of years, the power of flight has belonged only to birds. But no longer shall man be cursed to walk the earth and stare longingly up at the clouds. By closely studying the anatomy of birds, I will build a flying machine and take to the sky. What mechanism propels a creature into the air? <laughs> of course, yes, flight will be mine.